Longevity is thought to be for millionaires only, and many of the longevity interventions are considered to cost a lot of money. But there are also some very cheap longevity supplements that everyone can get access to. In this video, I'm going to give you the five cheapest longevity supplements. Do it. Number one is going to be creatine monohydrate. So creatine, one of the cheapest and most effective uh, sports performance enhancing supplements in the world. It's been researched for decades and it has multiple benefits on muscle performance and muscle strength as well. With age having adequate amount of muscle mass and muscle strength is actually quite vital and it's almost inversely associated with longevity so if you, if you don't have any muscle mass and poor muscle strength then your risk of getting hip fractures and just you know frailty and sarcopenia is also much uh, greater and creatine supplementation may have you know, like an um, anti-sarcopenic effect in terms of being able to maintain muscle tissue that uh, declines with their age Accumulating evidence suggests that exogenous creatine supplementation has the potential to increase aging muscle mass, muscle performance, and decrease the risk of falls and possibly attenuate inflammation and loss of bone mineral. Creatine supplementation also increases the quality of life in the elderly even without associated resistance training. These data indicate that creatine supplementation without associated training in the elderly could potentially delay atrophy of muscle mass, improve endurance and strength, and increase bone strength, and thus may be a safe therapeutic strategy to help decrease loss in functional performance of everyday tasks. Now, historically, creatine has been very cheap, like you could get it for even just a few dollars. Uh, but <laughs> since the pandemic hit, then the supply chains of uh, creatine were a bit uh, disrupted. And uh, the price of creatine, at least in most of the world, did increase quite significantly, almost uh, three times. But still, I think what you get from creatine is still so you know effective and one of the most cost-effective strategies to improve the uh, decline of muscle mass and muscle strength that occurs with aging and of course besides that you also get the cognitive and uh, like the brain uh, benefits as well next supplement is going to be glycine plus n-acetylcysteine so uh, i'm going to put these uh, two together because they work in conjunction in terms of increasing your body's glutathione levels which is the master antioxidant and uh, glycine and n-acetylcysteine supplementation or glynac in older adults improves glutathione deficiency oxidative stress mitochondrial dysfunction inflammation insulin resistance endothelial dysfunction genotoxicity muscle strength and cognition so 24 weeks of uh, supplementing glycine plus nsc in in older adults was well tolerated and lowered oxidative stress and increased glutathione levels and mitochondrial dysfunction decreased inflammation insulin resistance and pretty much you know improves virtually all biomarkers that are related to inflammation and uh, yeah inflammation pretty much affects virtually all metabolic processes in a negative way in excess at least and with age you see this uh, increase in basal inflammation levels n-acetylcysteine supplementation also has like immunomodulatory effects and uh, at least in patients with uh, tuberculosis then nac does uh, pretty much is associated with a reduction in all-cause mortality within uh, 90 days. In patients with septic shock, and acetylcysteine ad administration is also associated with a reduced 30-day uh, mortality in the ICU patients. So just boosting your body's glutathione levels is very important in terms of affecting your immune system in a positive way, lowering baseline oxidative stress, lowering inflammation, and just having like a overall like a protective effect against uh, aging. Both glycine and NEC are reasonably cheap, like uh, they're both very easily accessible and you can find them pretty much uh, anywhere. And last supplement is going to be vitamin D. So as a hormone, the uh, vitamin D is pretty important. It's the master hormone, in my opinion, it regulates the immune system, regulates hormones and metabolism overall. And vitamin D status is associated with uh, mortality as well. So like low levels of vitamin D are associated with increased risk of mortality and too high excess vitamin D levels are also actually associated with uh, increased mortality. So it's like a U-shaped curve where the lowest risk of mortality is in the middle. The optimal ranges for vitamin D are around 50 to 150 nanomoles per liter, which is going to be around 50 to 60 nanograms per milliliter. But as a supplement, then vitamin D has also been actually found to be associated with uh, redu reduction in uh, mortality risk. In this 2014 a meta analysis, they took 159 randomized clinical trials with over 95,000 participants and they found that vitamin D3 seemed to decrease mortality in elderly people living independently or in institutional care. Another 2012 uh, analysis on vitamin D and calcium found that uh, vitamin D with calcium reduced mortality in the elderly. Vitamin D with or without calcium reduced mortality by 7%. So obviously it's just important to get your vitamin D levels optimized from sunlight first and foremost 
But uh, in cases if you have vitamin D deficiency, your vitamin blood vitamin D levels are low, then it is also worthwhile to take some additional vitamin E supplement in the short term. And it's not going to have like any negative side effects in the long term if you keep the dosage around. Like, you know, it depends on the deficiency, how much you need. Like a maintenance dose for someone living in the north in the winter time could be something between 2,000, 4,000, 5,000 IUs, depending on their vitamin D levels. But if you do have like an actual severe vitamin D deficiency, then anything like 10,000 IUs can actually also be uh, somewhat uh, good. So there you have it. These are the five cheapest longevity supplements. There are certainly probably more of them, but this is the list that I put together into this video to, you know, talk about. Do you want to slow down aging and live longer? If yes, then I am looking for more people who want to reverse their biological age. If you're interested, then email me the word health to info at and I'll send you the details. But other than that, thanks for watching this video. Make sure you click a like, subscribe, notification bell as well. My name is Seem. Stay optimized, stay empowered.